Mix sugar with grass to instantly fix dead soil and lawn patches. Imagine turning the grass you normally throw away into a powerful homemade fertilizer that costs nothing and can restore even the driest, patchiest lawn. No more wasting money on store-bought organic fertilizers. Instead, with just sugar, yeast, water, and your everyday lawn clippings, you can brew up a natural solution that keeps your lawn green, your plants thriving, and your soil alive with nutrients. This isn't just a quick hack, it's a sustainable method that every gardener should know. And today on Soil and Crop Central, you'll learn exactly how to do it step by step. Why Grass Clippings Are Gold for Your Garden Grass is one of the most underrated organic materials in gardening. Every blade you cut is packed with nitrogen, potassium, and trace minerals that plants crave. Normally, these nutrients get wasted when grass clippings are thrown away. But if you ferment them, you unlock their full potential and transform them into a liquid fertilizer that your soil and plants can absorb almost instantly. What makes this method even more powerful is fermentation. With the help of sugar and yeast, microorganisms break down the nutrients in the grass, creating a nutrient-rich liquid teeming with life. This is more than just fertilizer. It's like a probiotic drink for your garden, feeding both your plants and the beneficial microbes in your soil. Step 1. Collecting fresh grass. Start by mowing your lawn and saving the clippings. Freshly cut grass is best because it contains the highest concentration of nutrients and moisture. Fill a large container or bucket about one-third full with the clippings. Don't pack them too tightly. Air circulation will help later in the process. This step is where the transformation begins. Think of the grass as your base ingredient, just like grains in a brew or grapes in wine. It's the raw material that will fuel the fermentation process. Step 2. Preparing the fermentation mix. Now comes the secret recipe that turns grass into liquid fertilizer. You'll need three everyday ingredients, warm water, sugar, and yeast. Heat up some water until it's warm, not boiling, just comfortably warm to the touch. For every bucket of grass, measure about three liters of warm water. Dissolve three heaping tablespoons of sugar into the water, stirring until it melts completely. Sugar serves as food for the yeast and kickstarts fermentation. Next, add one packet of yeast to the sugary water. Yeast is optional, but it speeds up the breakdown of the grass by fueling microbial activity. Without yeast, fermentation will still happen, but it can take several extra days. With yeast, you'll see results in as little as 48 hours. Stir the mixture thoroughly until the yeast is evenly distributed. Step 3. Combining grass and fermentation mix. Pour your sugar yeast solution directly over the grass clippings in the bucket. Add just enough water so that the grass is completely submerged. If needed, top it up with a little more warm water. Cover the container with plastic wrap or a lid but make sure it's not airtight. Fermentation releases gases, and you don't want to trap them inside. A loose cover with small holes works perfectly, allowing airflow while keeping insects out. At this stage, you've created the perfect environment for fermentation. The sugar feeds the yeast, the yeast activates microbes, and together they begin breaking down the grass into a nutrient-rich liquid. Step 4. The fermentation process. Set the bucket aside for two full days. Place it somewhere warm but shaded, away from direct sunlight. Over the next 48 hours, natural fermentation will occur. The liquid will bubble, foam slightly, and develop a strong smell. Don't worry about the odor. It's completely normal and a sign that the process is working. The smell may not be pleasant, but what's happening inside the bucket is extraordinary. Nitrogen and other nutrients from the grass are being released into the liquid. Beneficial bacteria and fungi are multiplying, creating a natural tonic that your plants will absolutely thrive on. If you skip yeast, expect this process to take anywhere from 4 to 6 days depending on temperature. Step 5. Straining and storing the fertilizer. After fermentation, it's time to strain the liquid. Use a fine mesh strainer or cloth to separate the liquid from the grass solids. The leftover grass can be added to your compost pile, where it will continue breaking down. What you're left with is a dark, nutrient-rich liquid that acts as your concentrated fertilizer. It's too strong to use directly on plants, so dilution is important. For every one part of liquid fertilizer, add 10 parts of clean water. In other words, if you collect 1 liter of fermented liquid, dilute it with 10 liters of water. 
This ensures that your plants get all the benefits without overwhelming them. Step 6. Applying the fertilizer. Now comes the rewarding part, feeding your plants. Pour the diluted fertilizer into a garden sprayer or watering can. Apply it directly to your lawn, especially focusing on dry patches or areas where the grass looks weak. The solution soaks into the soil, delivering nutrients right to the roots. This homemade fertilizer isn't just for lawns, you can use it on flowers, vegetables, fruit trees and even potted plants. You'll notice a visible difference in the vibrancy of leaves, the strength of stems, and the overall health of your garden. Plants respond quickly to liquid fertilizers because nutrients are absorbed faster compared to slow-release granules. Why does this method work so well? Well, the combination of grass, sugar, and yeast creates a perfect storm of natural fertilization. Grass provides nitrogen, which is an essential nutrient for leaf growth and plant vigor. Sugar fuels the fermentation process, while yeast introduces beneficial microbes that multiply and enrich the liquid. When applied to soil, this fertilizer doesn't just feed plants directly, it improves the soil's microbial life. Healthy soil microbes increase nutrient availability, improve water retention, and strengthen plants against pests and diseases. It's a holistic approach that benefits the entire ecosystem of your garden. A sustainable gardening solution. One of the greatest advantages of this method is, honestly, sustainability. Instead of throwing away grass clippings or paying for expensive fertilizers, you're recycling what nature already provides. This reduces waste, saves money, and creates a closed-loop system where your garden nourishes itself. Over time, consistent use of this fertilizer can transform even the most neglected lawn into a lush green carpet. It restores balance to the soil, strengthens root systems, and encourages steady growth without the harsh chemicals often found in commercial products. Final thoughts. Mix sugar with grass and you'll never throw it away again. What once seemed like yard waste becomes one of the most valuable resources in your garden. By harnessing the power of fermentation, you're not only feeding your plants but also enriching your soil and building a more sustainable garden. Try this simple recipe and just watch how quickly your lawn and plants respond. And if you found this method helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crops Central for more practical gardening secrets. Share this video with fellow gardeners so they too can turn waste into wealth for their soil.